reason I do it, the old timers did it to get rocks out. But this will create a more uniform consistency faster than just the kneading. And because of the Japanese films that I've seen, I knead in a counterclockwise manner. So that when I set that on the wheel properly, all the particles are already aligned counterclockwise, which is the way it's going through your hands. So the way that I'm wedging and kneading helps me center faster. Every single pot that I throw, starting from a mug, open the base wider than you want, and if you take the clay up into a cone, the centrifugal force, the cone will help you raise the clay. The centrifugal force causes the movement, your hands control the movement. But if you take up a cone, it just, it goes up. Once it goes out, you can't get it back in. And then each time you make a pull, you push that base in a little bit. See that it just naturally goes up because of the centrifugal force. So this is a magnesium mat. And as you add iron, yes, you are adding color, but your iron is a very, very strong flux. It's going to make it melt. So what you're doing by adding iron is fluxing the magnesia crystal to this point where the crystal is still floating and you get that color. Now if you kept going with the iron it would get darker and darker and the crystal less and less. Okay? So then I looked at it and I thought well what if I want a celadon with this crystal? This won't work. So then I took the formula and it's in your handout and you'd look in there and you say, okay, where's the magnesia coming from? Is it coming from talc? Is it coming from dolomite? And you take that and I think it's talc in this glaze. So I mix that glaze up without any talc. And it's a gloss. And then what I do, I do line blends. I do line blend adjustments. I then, and I mix up 200 grams. I mix it up 200 grams, no talc. Put that on a tile. And then I add 2% talc or one, let's just say 1% talc, mix it up, put that on a tile. Add 1% talc, put that on a tile. Add 1% talc, put that on a tile. And I take that talc just below where it was in the original formula. I know the formula is going to give me that. I don't want that. So I don't even have to go that far. Are you with me? So I can see, and I'm just going to pull this out of the air, I can see that 3% talc, and this is, I'm making this up, but 3% gave me the floating crystal I wanted without the iron. So then I could add 2% iron and I would have a celadon with the floating crystal. See? So by the time I get done, it's no longer the glaze that I got from Scott Cooper, and, and it applies to what I want it to do on my pots. You learn more about glazes, you learn more about the materials and you end up with pots that are more yours.